It's just so easy. What you want, you need TV. Record me dreaming. Interview so recent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're obviously making uh, beautiful music together. <laughs> so we're here with you guys, Pamela Bach Hasselhoff, here in Hollywood Hills at her home for WTV. YouTube partners having a blast, and it's Father's Day, and she's looking beautiful. And what's going on with you, Pam? I know well, a happy lot. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there, and thank you so much, because it's every child's birthright to have both a mother and a father. And tonight was a beautiful night. I decided to do a Thanksgiving dinner basically giving thanks to my family and my friends that have supported me through um, some rocky roads. You know, the bigger the ship, the bigger the waves, but one of my family members is definitely easy. Living. Now, we, we had like, what, 15 plates? 15 plates of food, delicious food. Who cooked all that food? I did every bit of it, and I loved it. But I came from a family of uh, two sisters, and my mother raised 47 foster children throughout my childhood. So about 10 years old, I knew I had to kick in somehow, some way, and I cleaned and cooked a lot after school. And um, I love it, you know, guys. I, she, I like cooking. She likes cooking and she cooks on the red carpet. <laughs> she cooks all over the all over the place. The did paparazzi you chasing you. I did. Did I, you? It was quite good. The pasta that was my favorite. It was your pasta. Usually it's my my stuffing. Everybody likes. But I made it like a Thanksgiving dinner. Anyway, and I thank you so much for coming. It was hot, just like just like my mommy here. Now, <laughs> I, I saw you on Hollywood.tv with, like, I don't know, 50 paparazzis chasing you. How did that feel? Um, you know, as long as I had my friends and my publicists with me. Who's your publicist? My well, publicist is easy and divine. I have GITH, G-I-T-H, Public Relations. Uh, it so it easy, stands for don't. Global Independent Talent Help, and you're globally independently helping all the single moms oh, out there. Was that, was, I didn't know what that in. I didn't know what that stood for. Yeah, Global Independent okay. Talent Help. All right, so I got it now. So anyway, um, how did it feel? It's pretty normal, but um, it was. Uh, everybody was respectful and graceful, and um, whatever questions I threw my way, at least I, I felt like I held my own dignity towards it. So. Isn't it hard walking with all that light in front of your face? You know, all the <laughs> flashing and you just, isn't it no, blinding? I, I'm Have you ever ran into something when the, all the paparazzi's chasing you? It's a little bit, it's a little bit, but you know what? You just got to walk down the stairs, you got to walk to your car, but anyway, it's here and there. Now, there's a lot of talk about you getting your own show, doing a movie, uh, you know, fill us in on that. I'm, I'm going to do a movie in Bombay, in Goa, and it's from yeah, Love from Goa. Goa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, and it's a, a true base story about an American who goes to Goa after losing her husband, and she falls in love. He ends up getting murdered, and uh, she fights the system, and then her daughter ends up being kidnapped or murdered. She's not sure. But the paparazzi start to turn her away, because, and they start helping her, and it turns out her daughter was not kidnapped but was murdered. And at the end of the story, it was just to have her daughter's body and give it her daughter, like, I guess a finality or closure to it, but yet she knew her daughter was up in heaven. At least she knew where her physical body was. And I'm looking forward to it because it's a deep trauma and it's a true story. And um, I look forward to that so much. Uh, the reality show is going to be based on, you know, newly divorced, high profile, which, you know, it's a beast among itself, uh, emptiness syndrome. Even though my children live with me 98% of the time, my best friends, you know. Say hi to them. Yeah, hi, Tay. Hi, hey. <laughs> I just talked to you about 20 minutes ago. But anyway, it, you know, it's, it's hard. Um, emptiness syndrome doesn't, ha it doesn't discriminate, you know. When your children are growing up, you give your eye teeth for them to be little again, although you've done a good job. And it's... it's it's uh, it's beautiful to see them blossom, but it's also like, ah, who am I now? Who am I here? Yeah. And um, it's pursuing things that I've held back because, I'm, by the grace of God, I was a stay-at-home mom, and I didn't miss one milestone in their lives. And um, so I'm getting back into singing and acting. Oh, singing now! Uh, now let's get let's get to the music world, my favorite world, and WTV, of course. 
You are an amazing singer, amazing actress. I know everybody out there on YouTube and WTV Online would love to get a private session. Can we get a private session of one of your favorite songs? I saw a music video that has a, a it's just a wonderful, you got to give us at least four bars, Aww, eight bars. Give us a little song. Thank you so much. Okay, um, you hold the microphone. And you can, <laughs> You can give them what they need. Because if you don't, it's going to hurt our feelings. <laughs> I'm going to hurt his feelings. Oh, the drama, the drama. That's extreme. No more sad goodbyes. No more lying in bed. I'm at the microphone. I'm singing my own songs. Now that's what you need. What you need TV all the way. I love it. And post your comments, you guys. That is the first time ever seen on camera on anything. Pamela Hasselhoff gave it to WTV exclusive. We love it. We're going to be selling my CD here soon, so please look for it in the stores or actually on my website, PamelaBachHasselhoff.com. Now, Pamela, you're going to Pennsylvania. I, I do a lot of research, you guys. I know everything about her. You're going to Pennsylvania for the children of EastAfrica.org. And, I mean, these children are, there's a lot of things happening. And there's a reverend named Sam Childers that saves those children. And they're doing a big benefit. And you're going out there, man. I, like, I want to know what your opinion is on charities in itself. Well, I just feel very blessed um, that I've been invited and when it has anything to do with children who don't have a voice at that young age, I'd be first in line. And I feel very blessed that I can go there and help raise awareness and um, contributions. Because as a child, my mother raised 47 foster children throughout my childhood. Sometimes it'd be a week, sometimes it'd be days, sometimes it'd be a couple of years. Um, but I understand that, uh, meaning that the children don't have a voice. And whether it be in the Western civilization or foreign country, you cannot buy back one minute of a childhood. You cannot. And so anything I can do that would help these children get their own beginnings, get their own start, and get out from under the bureaucracy and actually the torment that they're going through, um, I'd do anything. I'd do anything. So... Um, I look forward to going there, and we're going to bring a lot of awareness to it and hopefully help these children. I know we will, you know, that unfortunately it does take money to, to help a lot of people, and the innocent ones are the young ones who don't have a voice. So um, I look forward to this event. Are you going to write a song about them? I've written many songs. <laughs> time, to, time to produce it. Well, hopefully we can catch you there. You never, you never know, but angelsofeastafrica.org, you guys, machinegunpreacher.org, check it out. They need your help, and that website will tell you everything. Is there any, anything else you want to say, closing remarks to any friends or family out there? I know it's Father's Day. I know there's a lot of um, you know, people watching you. We got you. I guess I get, would say let go, let God. What people think about you is none of your business, and just keep your road of the street clean and just hold your head up high and your shoulders back. I always tell my kids that. And because um, I think we're all the walking wounded. I don't think anybody has a story that doesn't have some injury. And just keep straight ahead and look up to your higher power. And remember, you are your junior power. Ooh, she said higher power. And with that, you guys, we're coming to a closeout. I'm your man, EZ, here in Hollywood. Keep watching. And just like she said, keep your shoulders back, your head up high. That's what you need to do. God bless. It's just so easy.